Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The latest stable version of the Firefox web browser version 94 is now rolling out. It started rolling out a short while ago today on the 2nd of November 2021. Now in version 94 there's quite a bit going on with a couple of new features, some add-ons, updates, a whole lot of performance fixes and improvements, and also those all-important security updates which roll out in every version update and new release to the browser. Now, according to the release notes, I'm just going to highlight some of the new key features for you in this video. And to go through these quickly, in version 94, you will now find a selection of six fun seasonal colorways themes available for a limited time only. Now, after updating, when you relaunch the browser, you will find a new tab that will open with a menu. And I just took a screenshot of this in my browser just to refer back to in this video, where it says Life in Color, Vibrant New Colorways, available for a limited time. If you decide to uh, explore colorways in this menu, you will get uh, six different colors and options that you can choose as different themes for the browser. And if you go not now, then like I did, then you can always refer back to this uh, in the settings later in the browser. And we just go to our system settings to do this. Extensions and themes. And yeah, under manage your themes, you will see colorways, vibrant new colorways from Firefox. And then you have a whole lot of little new themes and colors you can choose from. And you can just click on your, the color of your choice and the theme of your choice. Go enabled and that will change the color and theme. And you can always come back and go disable, which will pop it back to its original color and theme. And then if you're a Mac OS user using the Firefox web browser, Firefox Mac OS now uses Apple's low power mode for full screen video on YouTube and Twitch. And Mozilla says this will extend battery life for longer viewing sessions. Now, if you, if you are a power user in version 94, you can now release system resources by manually unloading tabs without having to close them. So as an example, I'll just save this as a bookmark for easy referral back to in this video. You just enter about colon unloads in the address bar. Hit enter and this will take you to tab unloading. And yeah, now in version 94, you can manually unload tabs to uh, release system resources. And then Firefox uh, on the Windows operating system won't prompt you for updates anymore. Uh, Mozilla says now that a background agent will download and install updates even when the browser is closed now in Windows. So that'll just um, negate the need to now have to go check for updates all the time in the Firefox web browser. And then there's also better protection now um, against site channel attacks in version 94. And Mozilla say they have now introduced site isolation. And basically, in a nutshell, just to quickly give you, give you the definition of what site isolation does, is it builds upon a new security architecture that extends current protection mechanisms by separating web content and loading each site in its own operating system process. And this new security architecture allows Firefox to completely separate code originating from different sites and in turn uh, defend against malicious sites trying to access sensitive information from other sites you are visiting. And this is particularly, as an example, useful if you are using your credit card online. So in version 94, you now get site isolation where this, they say, will protect you against side channel attacks. And then in version 94 as well, Mozilla say we're rolling out the Firefox multi-account containers extension with the Mozilla VPN integration. And this uh, apparently lets you use a different server location for each container. So if you use the Mozilla VPN, then you this will help you um, use a different server location for each container in the browser. And then Firefox no longer warns you by default when you exit the browser or close a window using a menu or button. And the Mozilla say this is to cut back on disturbances and a whole lot of notifications popping up in the browser. And if you want to change this, you can always head back to your settings. General. And you can also yeah, just click on confirm before closing multiple tabs. So if you want those you know, multiple tabs to close. When you click on them, you can just come back and change this in settings. And then Firefox 
um, now supports the new Snap Layouts menus also when running on Windows 11. And that's the new Snap Layouts menus in Windows 11, which now Firefox supports. Now, as always, if you'd like to see if you have the latest update, we just head over to the top right to the menu help about Firefox. And yeah, you can see the latest version is 94.0. And then just to go look at some other um, fixes and performance improvements and security updates, we can just click on what's new to get to the release notes. And I have mentioned most of the new features in the release notes. And yeah, it's all the fixes. And there's too many to mention in this video just for time's sakes. So, and most of these um, are performance improvements and performance issues that have been fixed. So as mentioned earlier, there are, have now been a lot of performance improvements to the Firefox web browser. And you can come check this out um, by just clicking on what's new as I've just shown you. And then we get the all important various security fixes which roll out in every update to the browser. And I've, I've counted approximately 13 or and 14, 13, 14, give or take, um, security updates that have rolled out in version 94. And most of those are high impact. So even if you're not interested in any of the features I've mentioned, it's important that you check your up to date um, as a lot of these security impacts are rated as hi so that's more or less what's new in the firefox web browser so i hope you found this video useful once again thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one